If you want many audios now available on YouTube, you can support my Patreon page. Link in the video description. Without further ado, enjoy the video. Right. Everyone should wake up bright and early and we'll be on our way. If you're left behind, that's a you problem. General, what about our evening training? If any of you guys want to train before our fight, then go right ahead. Make sure you don't overdo it. Remember, we're getting up early, so don't stay up too late to train. Uh, are you sure about that? As long as you're not disturbing my slumber, I don't give a crap. Um, General? General! What? Don't yell right beside me. I'm right here. Uh, <clears throat> sorry, sir. You were spacing out. I was trying to get your attention. Are you okay? Yes, I'm alright. Don't worry about me. Maybe you're tired. I said don't worry about me. I'm a grown man. Are you underestimating me? Uh, no, sir, I'm not. Then get out of my face. What the hell's that sound? Welp, only one way to find out. Time to investigate. I figured it would be an animal, but I know it's more than an animal. More like a person. I want to make sure it's not anyone related to the silver owls. Let's hope they're not spying the campgrounds and track us down where we are. Last thing we need is to be killed in our sleep. Even though that's impossible for us to be unaware of our surroundings. In a slumber, we'll sense any presence that'll come and kill us. Strange. They look too small to be related to the silver owls. I can see their armor a mile away. <laughs> Doesn't look like they're wearing it. <laughs> Kind of dumb to walk around with no armor. That's one way to get killed in one swipe. What the hell? They were there a second ago. Don't tell me I lost them already. They look like they're in the bushes. Well, only one way to find out. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> what the... Hell, did this child really pounce me to the ground? <laughs> Scare the shit out of me, why don't you? Again? Hell no. You're not making me fall flat on my back again. No means no. Now scram, kid. I'm busy. Thanks for wasting my time. What? Why are you looking at me like that? I told you. Scram. Ugh. The one thing I hate in this world is crying babies. Fine. If I play with you, will you stop crying? Honestly, though, how did I wind up being the babysitter? What are your parents? Surely they're freaking out by now. What's with the sad expression on your face? Are you telling me you can't find your parents, or your parents are... Wait. This kid's an orphan. They don't have parents. Hmm? What's this around the kid's neck? Pardon me, but let me see what you're wearing around your neck. <sighs> Relax. I'm not going to steal it from you. I just want to see it. That's all. If I want to steal something from you, I would have done it in a flash. Looks like a locket with a photo of their parents. Why would they give it to a toddler? Is this a message that they're playing on abandoning this kid? Kind of fucked up to hand a photo of their mom and dad to a kid and just leave them. I don't like kids, but I wouldn't do something like that. I should take them back to the village. That's a lot safer than the woods. What the f- now, oh, for fuck's sakes, where did they go? Hey, 
Hey, kid, the devil did you go? I'm in no mood for any foolishness. <sighs> Playing a game of hide and seek, huh? All right, guess we'll play. I'm here giggling. You know you're not really good at this game, right? The key of being a good hider is to be quiet. I can track down where those giggles are coming from. And that's behind this tree. Eh? The hell? I could have sworn you were there. Quick, little one. I didn't hear any footsteps. <laughs> okay, now I found you. You're in this log, aren't you? How do people enjoy this game? All it's doing is frustrating the shit out of me. <laughs> Ugh, you little brat. You're doing this to taunt me. Now you're testing my damn patience. <sighs> okay, strange. The giggles are coming from the... Waterfall? But where? Uh, hey! Get down from there or you'll get hurt. Why, you little... <sighs> Got you. Yeah, why don't you give me a heart attack next time? You almost fell to your doom and you're giggling? This rat's got a death wish. Now that I got my heart back in rhythm. What? What is it you need? You're whining. Ow! Why are you pulling my hair? Ouch! Would you quit pulling my hair? It hurts. Oh, I see. You're hungry. No wonder you're fussing and- Ugh, Shit! Using all your brute force by pulling my hair out of my scalp. Yes, I know, you're hungry. Where do you think I'm going, you little rat? We're going back to the campsite. Did you find him? No, I checked the tent and he's not there. I don't understand. Where could he be? Last time I saw him was after dinner. One minute he was there, and the next minute he disappeared. Maybe he got kidnapped. Foolish fools. It takes a lot to try and kidnap me. Ah, you're bad. What the fuck is that? A child? What does it look like? I'm sorry, but... Lilia Van Rouge, holding a child. <laughs> now that's a rare sight to see. But anyways, where were you? We were looking around to find you. Why? Because we thought something bad happened to you. You guys think I'm a dumbass, don't you? Um, maybe you shouldn't curse around the child. Relax, they don't know what I'm saying, so it should be fine. Yeah, should be fine. Now your kid is going to walk around saying ass. Now have you done it? Looks like they said their first curse word. How does it make you feel? Quiet! Anyways... I need ingredients to make some food for the little one. I don't think they can eat solid food. We'll just grind it up into pieces. Oh, if you say so. The food, not the baby! Oh, yeah, that makes more sense. Um, General? Where's the kid? Don't worry, they're attached to me. Literally. Can you let go? I can't move when you're hugging my leg like that. <sighs> Come on! So a rare sight to see. Agree. I hope he's joking about raising a child. Consider the fact that he doesn't like children. Oh, don't worry. It won't be long before he loses his mind. We all know how much patience he doesn't have. Alright, kid. That's your last bite. You definitely did like it. He looks stuffed like a turkey. He's actually sitting with a child. Did you say something? No, no. By the way, isn't it a little dangerous to set the kid by the fire? I'm watching them. 
I'm sorry, but who's the one babysitting? Huh? More like who's the one parenting? No, 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 no. I am not your father, little one. No way, no how. Huh. Guess you're a father now. Shut up, I didn't sign up for this. What did you expect? Besides, you grew attached to this kid. What? Think about it. You could have returned this kid back to the village, but you didn't. <sighs> what the hell are you going to do with it? You're not planning on taking them on our journey, are you? You know, putting them in danger? Don't be silly. I would never put a child in any sort of danger. Well, you kind of are, because they're with us. What if the Silver Owls return? Then what? The kid will be killed. Please, those pussies got nothing against us. That's why we claim theirs to be our campsite. Please, just put them back in the village. No point in doing that. Why is that? Well, you see... They'll just wander back in the woods to find me. They chose me first in the beginning. I don't know how. Others see me as scary and intimidating. I don't look friendly. The children see you as a hero, then an enemy. You know some children can be fearless. Like this one. But beside the point. The real point is you can't take this kid with you. You can't fight and babysit at the same time. That is, if you're quitting being the general. Are you kidding me? If I leave and handed my leadership to someone else, every one of you will be dead. I'm not going to abandon my job as a leader. Well, there's two options. You be a father, or you return him back to the village. As I stated before, you can't be fighting and babysitting at the same time. What about our enemies? What about the princess? Is it not important to you anymore? Shut it. Stop making assumptions. This conversation is over. But, as your general, I order you to drop it. Yes, sir. No, excuse me. I'm gonna get some shut-eye. It's been a long night, and I'm exhausted. Have a good night, general. <sighs> he just doesn't listen. Nope, not at all. Came in one ear and out the other. Don't worry. It won't be that long before he loses his mind. Kids are quite a chore. It takes someone with sanity and patience to raise a child. Agree. Let's hope he's making the right choice, otherwise we're dead. Huh. Looks like it's about to storm. Right. Then let's get to our tents and rest. We got a big day tomorrow. That is if we make it all day tomorrow. I'm not looking forward to this. <laughs> Someone's a negative neg. Think about it real quick. Then answer me. <sighs> I'm exhausted. I feel like I can't move. Hmm. Quite a storm. What's the matter? You about jumped out of your skin. Uh, uh. Are you afraid of the thunder? Here. Hope this can help. Is that what I have to do? Hand you something that has my scent? Like, my cape? Looks like I'll be sleeping on the ground. Oh well. It's not like I have a bad back or something. I'm not a fan of children, and babysitting you was a pain in the tail. You're not as bad as the other children I see. 
but I know I wouldn't put you in any danger. Don't worry. I won't be like those idiots that abandoned you. Get some sleep. I'll figure this out tomorrow.